Hey up, I wanted to do a quick video tutorial with some of the tips and, and hints that I've picked up over the last couple of days when I've started to play Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, I'm sure there's probably other people that are out there in the same kind of situation I found myself in when I started playing this game and I spent probably about five or six hours playing this, running around, um, trying to track various different animals down and not really getting anywhere, maybe um, just chasing ghosts really. Um, I, I probably found after about five or six hours I, I, I was walking around for an hour so I was with nothing really happening and, and I found it quite frustrating. I've since come back and I've, I've picked some tips up so I thought I'd share them with people. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tracking what I thought originally was a herd of animals, um, but it appears that, that it actually wasn't. So I was hoping to actually show you some of these kind of ambush tactics that I've picked up for herds, um, but I'll maybe have to do that on a different video if that's going to be useful for people. However, I can talk you through some of the uh, general strategies here, so I hopefully it'll, it, you'll find it as useful as, as I found it and as successful. So what you may have noticed a moment ago was, was as I was kind of following the tracks I actually saw a call come from one of the animals. So I, I went straight into cover then, so I'd, I'd been walking, I wasn't really too worried about the noise or, or anything because I'm only hunting fallow deer. Um, so I went into cover and, and I used my fallow deer caller. So to get that you need to be level 5, um, it costs about 6,000 credits I think it is, so I'd say absolutely that should be one of the first things you, you buy. Um, I'm also just using the starter gear, so this is the starter gun, I've got a bit of an upgraded scope on it, and I'm also using the polymer tip bullet, so that's probably another tip there, is as soon as you can, as soon as you get 50 rifle points, uh, buy the polymer tips, because the, they'll do more penetration damage, they've got a lot more stopping power, and, and it's the ones you want to go with. So, what I'm now doing is, um, I called the animal, I've now got into cover, um, so that I can wait for the animal to come out and take a nice clear shot. One of the other mistakes I made when I first played this was I, I remember seeing a tooltip that the, the, the noise from walking in bushes, that they generate noise. So I, I then avoided bushes because uh, I didn't really want to make all that noise, but that was a huge mistake. <laughs> it appears that, uh, that actually if, if you're visible that's probably a lot more off-putting to animals than if you're making noise, so absolutely use the bushes and use the cover. Um, if you look in the icons in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that just below the, the health bar you've got three little icons, the one on the left is your heartbeat and the one in the middle is your cover. At the moment it's a nice thin line which means I've got a nice bit of cover um, which is perfect. So what I'm doing is I'm calling the animal over, it usually takes about 30 seconds a minute. Um, the lures themselves are good for about 90 seconds. Um, but what I've noticed is actually when I use the lure that the animals will come over as this one's doing now, um, but then they stop and they kind of wander around a little bit. Um, I don't think there's any penalty to overusing the lure, certainly from, from what I've seen there's no real penalty in doing that. Um, if, if anything, when they do kind of stop for a second to wander, um, I think it tends to call them over a little bit faster, so, so I don't think there's really any problems with overdoing it. So as you said, saw so there, I took my shot, but me being a, a terrible shot and, and not the greatest FPS player, um, I didn't really hit it. I was going for the heart and I, I missed. So now what I've done is I've kind of used the lure again to call it back over. So so another tip, when I, when I started playing this, I kind of assumed that when I took a kill shot and I killed an animal, or I tried to kill an animal, that that would sc scare all the animals away in the area and that they wouldn't come back. That isn't the case either. Um, the way that the AI seems to work is that actually if, if the animals are in that area they tend to run off from maybe about 50, 100 meters or something like that. Um, but then kind of stay in that general area. So the lures are good for about 200 yards, 216 yards I think it is, 200 meters. Um, what you can actually do is you can call them animals back over so, so as long as you're not kind of making too much noise and you're not too conspicuous and, and you're in cover then you can actually use that lure once they've scattered so you can take your kill shot or you can, you can make a shot and miss, um, they will scatter um, and then after about 15 or 30 seconds, they'll have calmed down, the panic will have run out, and if you lure them, they'll come back in. So you'll you'll just be able to keep doing that and, and eventually thin out the herd. Um, so 
so it's absolutely a, a really useful thing to do. Um, just because you, you've killed one animal, or you've spooked one, or you've took a shot and, and scared them, doesn't mean that you then have to go chasing after all the animals and, and keep tracking them down. Um, stay in that area, use your call, um, and they should come back. Now, there are, there are instances where they won't come back, so I think after, I've noticed after a period of time I'd be calling and they don't always come back. So if you notice that, if you do your law and you notice that after a minute or two you've, you've not had anything come back and they seem to have disappeared away from the area, what you can do is you, you can just track them down, um, follow them down, get to the point where you either see them or you hear some kind of a warning call or something. And again, same tactics, back into cover, get your law out and, and just finish them all off that way. So, um, I think probably another tip to give you here as well why I'm tracking this animal down is, is how to identify if you've killed them from a distance. So if, if like me though, you've took a shot, you didn't get the kill shot, and you, you're not too sure if you've actually killed it, um, a good way of seeing that is by using the, uh, the hunting pressure. So you'll be able to bring up your map or bring up your phone um, and when you get hunting pressure it's the purple splodge that appears on the map and, and it appears from where you take the shot as well so it's not where the animal dies it's where you took the shot so as you see there you can see a nice purple splodge where I took the shot which meant that that animal died which means that it's worth going tracking it down to find it. So let's, uh, let's go along here it shouldn't be too far ahead I, I it had a pretty vital shot. Um, it should be. In fact, there it is. There, nice and easy. So I was going for the uh, the heart shot before. It looks like I, I just well, not just missed it. I missed it by quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, but we got it in the end, so so the the trophy value is all right. But yeah, the um, the instant kill um, isn't good. So as I mentioned, you can you can use this tactic. So I was hoping to show you an example of this with a herd to call them back in. Um, unfortunately, this video wasn't that. So as I said, if it's going to be useful, I'm I'm happy to kind of share that. Um, but yeah, it, it it works well. So as you can see there, I've actually got um, quite a few kills in there. If we look on the map, you'll see the the purple splodges are the hunting pressure. The brighter the splodges, the more kills that were done in that area and this is where I was kind of hunting the herd earlier um, there's multiple kills there so it's brighter and I was using the same tactics that I talked about there was uh, was going to cover call them over going to cover take a kill um, when they scatter and run give it 15 20 seconds 30 seconds something like that keep loading them back in and they'll just come back in and you can just keep killing them if you look on my hunting log there from about five o'clock onwards you'll see there's there's two sets of kills there's there's one where i saw the herd initially i think i made about four kills um i then couldn't load them back in they seem to have wandered on a little bit more um i tracked them down and and finished them off where i think there's about eight kills after that so it, it works really good i've had a lot of success with this um it seems a lot more effective than just tracking animals down and, and killing them so um by all means track them down i think if you can find a herd at that point then get into your bushes get into cover lure them over and use that lure tactic to bring them in and kill them all i hope it 